What's going on guys? Another video here. We're going to break down anaphylaxis um, and we're going to start with distinguishing between local um, allergic reaction and anaphylaxis. So when, when you're um, on a scene with a patient complaining of an allergic reaction, your main issue, your main purpose is to distinguish, be able to distinguish between a local reaction versus a widespread systemic anaphylactic reaction. Um, and so with anaphylaxis, a few pathophysiological things are going on. Um, as histamines are being activated, uh, your vessels are going to be dilated, so we're experiencing vasodilation, and a few things happen with that. Um, a lot of the fluid from the vessels are going to shift into our tissues, so we're going to see peripheral edema. Our blood pressure is going to get lower, it's going to decrease, so we're going to experience hypotension. And with the peripheral edema, with, this, with the swelling, um, you're going to see, and if, you're, if your tissues in your upper airway start swelling, you're going to hear a sound called strider, this high-pitched sound upon inhalation and exhalation on the patient. Um, and you should see widespread hives across the whole patient. And it should be pretty easy to be able to identify if someone is experiencing um, anaphylaxis. Sometimes they're not receiving enough perfusion to their brain, so they might experience decreased mental status. They might even faint. Um, and this is a life-threatening issue, and if you recognize this in the primary, that is the perfect moment to administer epinephrine. Um, we have a couple methods of administering epinephrine. We have the EpiPen as well as the EpiAmpule. Um, it's a lot cheaper. It's just a few more steps to draw up the epinephrine and administer it. So Kimberly uh, is here, um, here to help us out and demo these things. We're going to start with the EpiPen. And so, um, with the EpiPen, Kimberly, um, what side is what side? So this is where the needle comes out, Yeah. And this is the safety cap. Right, safety cap. And so, when you're, when you're about to do this, um, because we're EMTs, we're going to expose the site. So where on our patient's body are we going to be administering We're going to go on the lateral thigh. We're going to lateral thigh, and we're going to expose the patient's lateral thigh. We're going to clean it um, with, a, with an alcohol wipe. So you'd clean the area. Yeah, let it dry, and then you're going to remove the safety cap. Okay. Then I'm gonna. You're gonna hear a click with the trainer EpiPen, and you're gonna hold it there for about 10, 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, you remove. You disc discard that into sharps. Yep. So we're gonna go into the sharp. Uh, yeah, oh, oh. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, and then we're going to massage it for 10, 10 more seconds. Yep. And then we're going to reassess the patient for anaphylaxis. Um, epi is short acting, so sometimes you might need a redose of epinephrine. If wheezes persist on the patient, um, don't be shy about administering albuterol via NEB kit. Okay. Um, next up, the next method is um, going to be an epi epi ampule. Okay. So these are trainers. So this um, has about two liter, two milliliters. In here, not sure if you guys can um, can read that, but we're gonna pretend. Let's let's draw up um, the whole thing, but pretend like there's one milliliter in there. Okay, so go ahead. Um, Kimberly's got some gloves on. We're gonna take our ampule. We're gonna open up an alcohol wipe, and we're gonna clean the top of um, the ampule. And then if you notice any fluid, so go ahead and tip it upside down. If you notice any fluid in the, in the cap, go ahead and flick it, kind of like Kimberly's, um, Kimberly's doing. Flick it a couple times to get the fluid out of the, the top of the ampule, so all the fluid's at the bottom. And we have a couple other pieces. We have uh, a needle and a syringe, and then we have a filter needle. And so a filter needle comes in handy because as we break, break this syringe, Shards of glass are going to fall to the bottom of that ampule, and so this filter needle filters out the shards um, and doesn't let the shards go into the syringe. And so go ahead and open these packs. So I'm going to push the back instead of fumbling with just trying to open it. If I was in a rush, I'm just going to pop it through okay. the paper and pull it out. Yep, and that's a regular needle right there. So go ahead and just twist it off and leave it to the side. We'll use it in a minute. Same thing here. Okay, and without taking it out, or that's fine, that's fine. Go ahead and apply it to the syringe. And just set it on the counter, ready to go. Great. And um, if you have a commercial ampule breaker to break the cap off, you can definitely use that. If you don't, we're just going to use a piece of gauze. Kind of fold it a couple times. 
that's, that's good. And then you can just cover it to protect yourself. And then when we break, we're going to use your, your index finger and your thumb and just don't even think about it. If you think too hard, you might even smash the whole ampule within your fingertips. So just snap and then discard of that into the sharps. Perfect, and it's gonna look like gonna look like that now. And so go ahead and take your your uh, needle and syringe with the filter needle. Go ahead and de uncap it, just straight up. So when we uncap the needle, just pull straight up. Great, and then hold the ampule in one hand and draw it up. Well, before you put it, yeah, do we see? Bevel. I don't know if this camera can pick it up, um, but there there is a bevel to this needle. There's a bevel to every needle, and you want the bevel to be facing up uh, as you're drawing the medication from the ampule. So you're going to tilt the ampule onto the side, put the needle all the way to the bottom, at least it's below the fluid, and then this is kind of a skill that you'll learn over time, where you're going to draw it up with one hand, and sometimes it's okay if you don't draw it all up in one shot. If you get too much air, you can uh, let the air bubbles out and then try it again. Great. Flip there the top. Yeah, and, then and get the air push out. the air out. Perfect. Awesome. And, and then did you get all of it out? You got all of it out? I got a little more air bubble. Got a little, bit, a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And um, after we're done drawing it up, go ahead and take the needle off and dispose of it in the sharps. Perfect. Apply the regular needle on. We want to use a fresh needle. And that's the needle we're going to use to administer the epinephrine into the patient's deltoid. Um, and when we're about to do that, we're on our patient, just do it on yourself. You don't have to yeah, obviously do it, but like that's, that's where we're going to administer it. So we're going to take an alcohol wipe, we're going to clean the site, um, and then we're going to pinch, pinch the deltoid. And then you go, you, it's like a bullseye, you're going to administer um, the epi right in the center. Perpendicular. Yeah, we want to use, we're using a 22 gauge right now. Um, go per, straight perpendicular to, to the deltoid, and you're going to only administer 0.3 milligrams. And so if we drew up one milligram of epinephrine in one milliliter, we're only going to give 0.3 milliliters of epinephrine into the deltoid. But what's cool about this is that you have 0.7 milliliters left in case you need to administer a redose of epinephrine. Um, I hope that answers your questions. If you have any questions, leave them or comments, leave them in the, the comments below. Cool. See you in the next video.